How come you get the best part? Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Be easier to hunt if we had one of them fancy new weapons like the mage gave to the Dross. Can I please have some food? Shut, Shut it up! Blasty bugaboos in the woods. <laughs> All sorts of weird creatures out here. Nigga, why are we keeping them alive anyway? Those were the orders. He's a dang -de more. They blame the Tross. Just as the Tross blamed the Dengdemores for Pinky Panto's disappearance. Well, it's true if the rat's alive or dead, though. Like, the Major's plan doesn't make any sense. So, tell us, what's your plan for conquering Windermore? Oh. That's what I thought. Nobody questions the Mage. Nobody! real book they want came from somewhere now he's looking for me ah open the door i can hear you in there what do you want i want my phone just just go away please why are you acting crazy i just want my Look, you're gonna get your phone back when i give it back you little asshole Berksburg Sheriff Department. Oh, that does sound like cause for concern. We'll be right there. Four members of the Berksburg County Book Club are missing. I should probably investigate this. Probably. You want to come with, partner? Partner? Uh, that's just an expression. What about them? I thought the whole reason we slept here was to keep an eye on the prisoner. Right. Okay, I forgot. I, I mean, I, I do drugs. Not now. Y later. <laughs> we left her alone before and she was fine. Hobbs will be here soon. It's not like they can just walk out of their cells. Sherlock, wake up. Dirk's gone. I'm gone? Yeah, not good. I have an idea where he went. Also, why is this here? Oh, yeah. 
I should probably admit that into evidence, shouldn't I? some food I don't understand how did you get out locks don't work on me and I was I was hungry can you open mine sorry it's locked you want a donut thank you noble lady you ever had Chinese food Ken gave me Chinese food once. It's, it's made of pigs. Mm. You're a good person, Park. I yeah. am. I'm a stranger in this world. You're the first person to show me kindness. Yeah, well, it's just a donut. So, uh... You're new to this place? You're on one of them, huh? You're from, like, uh, another state or something? I'm a baron prince from the Valley of Inglenook in the Kingdom of Wendemore. <laughs> That's just a bunch of noises. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? Get off of me, asshole! Throw off, you stupid shit! Get in Hey! Dungeons and Dragons, we didn't do anything to you! We're supposed to detain suspicious types, you wet rat. I don't even know how I got here! See how they're dressed? Them all witcher cuckoo types from the forest. I'm not a witcher cuckoo! I am a freaking person, okay? I'm a person! And my friend here is hurt, and, and you can't just lock us up for no reason. You can't. Let Lord but evil figure it out. <laughs> hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Oh, God, I'm yelling. I'm yelling at the, the knights. I'm... Oh, God. Oh. You're not from Wendemore, are you? No. Then welcome, traveler. My name is Farson Dengdemore. All of this. It's not a unicorn! Oh my god! <sighs> so, uh, listen, I never got the chance to ask you, how is your sister wrapped up in all this? She and I have the same disease. It runs in the family. Well, actually, she had it first. Huh? Well, I, I pretended to have it first, and then she really got it, and now I really have it. Uh-huh. Okay. You pretended to have the... You, you, you pretend... Why would you... I did some selfish things. Things I now really, really regret. Most of all, lying to Amanda. Mm. She wasn't happy when I told her. That's, you know, uh, karmically, that was a good thing to do, I think. Um, although, I suppose you, you did still end up with the disease, so... Oof. Where, where is she, then? I don't know. The last time I saw her, she told me to get lost and then ran off with these four insane guys who were following Dirk. And now with Blackwing after us... Blackwing, that's the top secret government agency that Dirk was talking about? This is all my fault. <clears throat> I brought her into all of this. My bike? That's a heck of a long ride. Dirk! Here, take this just in case. Dirk! Dirk! Baby's in the barn. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check upstairs.
phone lines haven't run to this house in 50 years. Hello? Todd! Help me! I have really messed up. I fell down some kind of hole. What? Where are you? You're, like, in the basement? No. It's not a basement. Hey, you know when I said I wanted out? I meant out of this room, not just out of the cab. Just tell me what's on those disks. A lot. Tens of thousands of pages of files. You know the first version of this program was called Black Book? Don't read it. The last time you told me... It's secret. No, 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 no. All right. No. Do you want me to decrypt this and then you'll read it, or...? No, I... Yeah, but, um... Well, only... The... Okay, okay. Just... Is there anything in there about disappearing? Or people who can disappear? Or, or people who can make other people disappear? Yes, actually, there's about four different types of... You doing all right, man? You look a bit agitated. It's got a lot going on, Okay, man. okay, take it easy. I, just, I thought this was a good idea. You know, I mean, we couldn't just let you all stay out there. All the people with crazy abilities. I mean, what did you think you were going to do with them? I mean, us. And, I mean, did you think you were going to crack us? Enslave a group of magic people, turn them into a team of super soldiers out to strike down the enemies of America? Sort of. I just, I, I just hit a rough patch, Ken. What happened, man? Something must have happened. The other Bratzman, the, the girl, and the fourth member of Project Incubus. Yeah. We had them. Air, just like Project Stupid Dirk, and then and, and the guy who's helping me, Mr. Priest. Yeah. He's crazy. And, and I just, I need to know more. Do you understand? I need to know a lot more. And maybe you could just know some stuff. See what I can do. Okay. Dirk, calm down. Where are you? It looks like the Cardenas house, only it's much bigger, like impossibly big. And also fun and festive, but in awful ways. So you're inside the house, or...? I'm looking out the door now, and there is no outside, Todd. Listen, this is just speculation, but I may be in actual Judeo-Christian hell. OK, OK. Back up! Ooh, this is very bad. This is classic me bad. I have just really blown this. How did you get where you are? I kept thinking about the stupid prophecy and how you said I needed to take more control, do things for myself. So I thought, yes, I will. Good, OK. Panto said he came from the house. The house is clearly a thing. So I borrowed Hobbs' bike, but that was my first mistake. It took nearly two hours. Yeah, to Dirk, focus. Here. I found a boarded up closet upstairs, and then I fell down a hole with a slide in it. A slide? This will get bogged down in the details, please. Hold on. Talk to him for a second. He thinks he's in hell. But that's a turn of events. But howdy, Dirk. Hobbs here. Hello, Sheriff. Tell him I found the slide. And he says he found the slide. What slide exactly? Tell him not to fall in. Okay. He says careful not to fall in. What, uh, what, what is this slide? Ask him if he can climb back up. Todd wants to know if he can climb back up. No. I fell down the slide into a room, and when I looked up, the slide was gone. OK, that, that's a hard no on the slide. But what, what is the slide, exactly? What, 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 can you give me some information on the slide? I'm, I'm going to need to know what the slide is moving forward. What was that? Did you hear that? Hear what? That thumping sound. Music? No. Hobbs, we're gonna need a ladder or a rope or something. Oh, I don't think I'm alone in here. Well, he thinks there's someone else in there with him. What? Like a person? No, I don't think so. Does he want me to slide down the slide? Do you want Todd to slide down the slide? Uh, no, I, I, I really oh, don't think that would. Dirk, it's me. I, I don't know how to help you from here. Stay where you are. You asked me to help. No. That was a mistake. I'm actually fine and great. Dirk. Oh, look, what I was going to say was this is on me. 
I don't even know if there is a way out of here. The last thing I want is you getting trapped in here with me. You have to be inside the house somewhere. What are you going to do? Keep looking for a way out. Of course. My family, the Dengdumpers, led by my mother, Lady Freya, and my brother, Baron Prince Silas, are the richest folk in all of Inglenook. Why'd these guys put you in a cage, then? These men are in service of the Mage Kenan, an evil wizard who plans to further incite the feud between my family and the Trosts. The Trosts? Uh, Farmer folk, protectors of the woods, but my family has always thought they're just dirt diggers. Oh I got so God. sick of the fighting that I ran away. I was on my way to find the forest witch, Wakti Wapnasi, of the Santi Santiga who guides the Bafuki Napu. Continue. Wap T. Wap Nasi foretold the prophecy to save Wendemore. And that means stopping the mage. Even with his massive army, the Kellum Knights. He has conquered every kingdom and is marching on Inglenook. The only place he hasn't conquered. No, oh, this is great. You're saying all kinds of stuff. What happened? You get to Wendigo? That is why I came to this world. If I don't fulfill the prophecy to save Wendemore, I believe it ends in great death and disaster. Wakti Wapnasi knows a great many things. I wanted to ask her of the prophecy. Ask her how to heal the feud between our families before the mage uses it to destroy us all. I should have never run away. When Farson went missing, the Dengdemors blamed my family and came after me to seek revenge. But I managed to get away. And with Wakti's help came to this world. Search for the great man, Dirk Gently. Yeah, I was doing that for a while, too. Didn't turn out great for me. <sighs> this place is way bigger than the Cardenas house, Todd. Tell us what you see. It's really weird and interesting in here. There has to be a way out. Just keep looking. Also, Something's following me. Can you see who it is? I'd really rather not, actually. It ain't like Carol to go off unannounced. Now, sometimes she'll go visit her mother. She lives in one of them retirement homes out in Anaconda, but she'd leave a note, you know? Oh, this, this is real strange, ain't it? I mean, why would she leave her jewelry behind in a pile of sand? Uh-uh, no. Uh, <clears throat> this is Jeanette McGrady's watch. I didn't know that thing anywhere. Well, I spoke with Buster, and Jeanette ain't been home either. It's like the whole damn book club just up and run off. How many people in this book club? There's, uh, four. Look, I'm not usually one to, uh, get my shorts in a bunch, but this just smells like foul play to me. And if anything's happened to my Carol, I, I just don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I think something definitely did happen. Who are you again? Yeah! She's, she's cool, man. Jasper, look, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to, uh, to not touch any of this for the time being. Yeah. Hot crime scene. All right. There are five wine glasses. There are only four piles of sand. He's gotta be somewhere in here, right? I mean, uh, maybe underneath us? Like, underground? No, I don't think so. Hey, how did... Yeah, go, Tina. Dirk, where are you right now? Dirk? I... Hello? I think I can hear someone talking. Oh, he's coming here now. Hang on, Todd. I'll protect you. Be the princess and see you destroyed. Those who are wise will turn back now. We'll be ready for him. Beware the secret of the vault. You have this worm-eaten... A clue. What is? What's a clue? There's a, a 
thing in this house that isn't in the real house. I mean, there's loads of things in this house that aren't in the real house, but this is a thing. Oh, man. Tina's got some homeless to going on to. She says people are missing. This is spiraling out of control. Todd? Whatever that sound is, it's getting closer. What if it's the boy we're looking for? Think about it. What if the boy we're looking for slid down that slide years ago and got trapped wherever you are? What if this is exactly what's supposed to happen for you to find him? Shit. You're right. I have to look. didn't they? That's what's up. Incinerated or something? Yes, but no. No, we shouldn't be jumping to conclusions. Have you seen anything like this before? I've seen some pretty weird things since I met Dirk, but I'd like to believe there's still a rational explanation for this. So, who would be the fifth member of this book club? Oh, man. Oh, man. Susie Borton knows all those women. She's been in a feud with them or something. It has been for years. Well, hold on. This is the same Susie who Bart said attacked her? And whose husband attacked Todd and yeah. her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well then I think perhaps we should... Yeah! Stay on the road. Stay on the road, Tina! Scott. Scotty? Scotty? by a pair of scissors, and it's bleeding everywhere. And I mean all that in a horribly literal way. Scissors? Yes! <sighs> For the record, this is not the best case ever anymore. Oh, 
I'm going in. He needs my help. What? You sure? Yes. Can I have a gun? You had tiny lights all over you. You saw that? You're both magic. Tom! 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 I can't put Tiffany. Where is Phil? He needs his pills. Where are they? This is incredible. Bart is just the beginning. These people are more powerful than I imagined. You are in way over your head. Yes, I know. But what am I supposed to do? Well, you can't just keep them locked up and expect them to do what you want. I mean, these people, these things, or whatever they are, they, they want meaning. Look, in computer science, we call it a causal role. What are you talking about? I know how to get them to do what you want. But, so do you have powers or not? I can help you, but you have to let me. And that means letting me out of here. Because right now, as far as I can see, I'm the only one on your side. Are you OK? So, um, what, what, what happened to you guys? brought you a gift. What is this? I think it's the murder weapon. Right. Right. What? Sheriff's Department, open up! Does it work? Or missing? Or a pile of dust. We could break in. Illegal, without a warrant. I know. Wait, are you down for that? Technically, I'm already a criminal. Yep, just give me a hairpin and I'll pick this off, no problem. Is that really what you want, Susie? You want them to come in here and save you? Yellow, I mean, <clears throat> Tepatino. Oh, hey, Hobbs. Yeah, we're at the Borton residence. Didn't seem to be home, but... 
Hobbs says the Cardenas house is haunted by a purple alligator and they found what might be the murder weapon used to kill Hector. That dirt gently is really something. Okay, I'm sorry. What? Where? I searched that whole house. Okay, we'll be right there. Hobbs wants us to meet him back at the station. What about Susie Borton? We'll be back, man. Come on. I want to see a dang purple alligator. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> You're right. This is most likely the murder weapon. But this looks new. And this is fresh blood. These scissors, could they be connected to the scissor sword somehow, right? Panto Tross? Screw Wendell, whatever. What about real life? Four missing women who were last seen at a super dusty book club. A tree with a body in it. A car in a tree with a body in it. Then you got this impossible gun that somehow shoots air despite having no moving parts. A house inside another house with a murder weapon hidden inside it. And not to mention some kind of purple people eater, because that's what that was. Yeah. Bosh. Why are you all looking at me? Keep going round in a circle. Farrah, your turn. Well, no, come on. It, it all has to add up to something. Everything is connected, right? Bart being here isn't a coincidence. It can't be. Well, yes, yes, of course. Wait, no. A guy with pink hair who claims to be a prince from a faraway land called Wendemore, where you, Dirk Gently, are at the center of a prophecy. It's connected. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, obviously, that it, uh, and then that, um... Sorry. This again? Look, Dirk, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put pressure on you. I know that's not how you work, or how it works, whatever it is. What if that monster ate us? It didn't. What if diving through that static didn't work? What if that just killed us? It did work. It didn't kill us. I couldn't even help you when you were having a pararibulitis attack. Well, I don't think anyone could. All I ever wanted was a friend, to have someone who believed in me. And now you have one, more than one. What if who and what I am is going to get you killed? I don't know what this all means. I never know how things connect until they do. And usually before then, it's just danger and death. Why are you here? What have you got to do with any of this? I... I saw Amanda. What? I had like a hallucination when I was having my attack. Like Amanda's visions? No, no, no. It, it was like she was having it for me. Like reaching out. I saw her. I saw her. Dirk, as crazy as it sounds, I think Amanda's in danger. In Wendemore. Oh! Ha! Huh. We have to go back to the Cardenas house. Why? And we need to take Panto. Lord Triangle but evil. Hail to the mage. Hail to the mage. <sighs> Hail to the mage. I'll come for the Dingdomore boy. We have other prisoners. A boogle we caught trying to steal our food. And two travelers from another land. Only the boy matters. What do we do with the rest of them? Kill them. Hurry 
up, will you? While there's still sand in the glass, you fools. Oh, let him go! Shut her up. Stop will keep you quiet. <laughs> Cannot be. She's glowing. She is a bloody witch! You said you fell into a room, Prince Trost. Is, is this it? Yes. And you fell onto a bed that then disappeared? Yes. <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a murphy bed. Flush with the wall. But in the house within the house, the bed was down. Is this how you came through to our world? This is where I fell. Looks like water damage. Where? What do you got? I don't get it. It's a solid wall. How did you come through? Oh. Guys? A little help over here. What is this? I come from a place far away from here. A beautiful, perfect place called Wendemore that I rule unopposed as the most powerful wizard ever to exist. You see, Susie, there's no point in fighting me. You can't win. I believe a lie has been told about my world, Suzanne Borton. A lie in the form of a prophecy that has been kept secret from me. A lie that states that someone could end my reign. I created the second wand because I needed a partner to help me uncover this prophecy and destroy it. I just want to leave Bergsburg. I don't want to hurt anybody. I... Don't you, though, Suzanne? I didn't mean to get drawn into all this. I just. I'm a nice person. No, you're not! No, you're not. The 
wand wasn't drawn to you because you're nice. You're far better than nice. You're interesting. Mm. Nice people will conspire against you to stop you having what you want. Power, freedom. Join me, and you can leave this wretched place and be a queen. No one telling you what to do anymore. As long as you hold the wand, you will be invincible, glorious, perfect. Do you want them to take that away from you? No. No, and I'm never going back to the way things were. Head. 